Hey everybody, welcome back to Zindi. So today I wanted to show you some different options on how to actually add glitter to your acrylic blanks. There's a lot of options, a lot of preferences, so I'm gonna show you three ways that you can add glitter to your acrylic blanks and why I prefer one way over another um, for different circumstances. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the decoupage method. That is my favorite method of applying glitter because I feel like you get a really, really good coverage with this method. It doesn't use as much resin if you're gonna uh, seal it with resin or you can also seal it with triple thick or other options as well. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our acrylic blank and we're just gonna remove this backing paper. For the decoupage method, I do like to use a paper plate because it saves all of my glitter, no waste, and keeps it just nice and tidy. All right, so this is the decoupage we're using today. We, you can find this on the Zindi website, and it's a huge bottle and it lasts forever. Okay, so I'm just gonna take another plate and just put a little bit of decoupage on that plate. I don't need a ton. That's plenty. And then you're gonna want to use a foam brush. That's my favorite way. Doesn't have to be a foam brush, but that's how I like to apply decoupage, okay? And so I'm just going to get some and we're gonna work our way from the middle out. Just thin layers. You don't want it really like, uh, um, what's the word? Plop, not plop goopy gloppy I don't know I don't know what the word is but you don't want globby that's it that's it you don't want a big old glob of uh, decoupage on there so you just want nice smooth layers and we want to work our way from the inside out because we don't want to get it on the edges if we can help it it'll just stay nice and clean if we cannot get it on the edges so that looks great the glitter we're using right now is Aphrodite. It's a holographic glitter from Zindi. It's super, super pretty. All right, so we have our first layer of decoupage. Make sure I got that edge. And all we're gonna do is sprinkle some glitter on there. All of this extra glitter is going to be saved, so don't worry about wasting it. And then I just like to go and just really push that glitter down in there and make sure I have it on the edges and everything. You can use your little spoon to really get it on there. Be generous with this because you want to make sure you get it in all the areas. All right, that's perfect. So we're gonna let this sit while we go ahead and do the other method. Normally this just has to um, sit for a couple minutes. I usually let it sit to five, 10 minutes to be really safe, but within a couple minutes, you're good. As long as you don't put too much decoupage, you're, you can work with it pretty quickly. Okay, so other method is mixing UV resin and glitter together, okay? so. Have our acrylic blank, remove the backing. All right, for this method, you will need your, a silicone mixing cup is best, UV resin. This is Resin Rockers UV resin. Um, make sure you're wearing your gloves when working with your UV resin. You don't wanna get it on your skin. All right, so we're gonna take some UV resin. We're gonna put it in our cup. And then we're gonna take some glitter. And I am gonna use my little spoon for this one so that I have an idea about how much I'm putting. So I'm gonna try about half a spoon and then we'll go from there. You don't wanna to put too much resin, I mean, uh, too much glitter where it's too thick to spread, but you also don't wanna to put too little or it'll be very transparent, your, your actual glitter layer. All 
So I'm just mixing this all up. That looks good. And so now we are gonna apply this straight to our acrylic blank. You also can sand your acrylic blanks if you prefer. I don't ever do that, but a lot of people do. There's really no right or wrong way. You just gotta see what works best for you. So I'm just moving this resin to the edge. Pros and cons. Pros and cons of mixing your UV resin with glitter are using the decoupage method. Um, usually with when you're mixing your UV resin with your glitter, whenever you do your first cure, it's gonna be a little bumpy, like it won't be very glass-like um, because of that glitter. So you'll normally have to put a second layer of resin over it, okay? So to really get it nice and shiny, you will usually need more resin whenever you're mixing glitter and UV resin. If you're using the decoupage method, normally one layer of resin is plenty because we're getting our coverage on there first and then we're just coating it with the UV resin rather than using the UV resin as the actual adhesive of the glue. I mean, adhesive of the glitter. Another thing about um, mixing the glitter and the UV resin is a lot of times you'll notice your edges are not as um, full of glitter as the rest of it. So that's normal when you mix uh, UV resin and glitter together that a lot of times your edges won't be fully covered, which I'll show you what I mean after we cure this. So right now I'm just making sure I have enough on here. I'm gonna add a little bit more resin just to make sure I have a, a nice coverage. Also, when you're mixing UV resin and glitter, um, you have to kind of be able to eyeball how much resin you need and how much glitter you need when you first start. So this was about a third of the cup of this little silicone of resin. This is a three inch circle. And then I did about a half a spoon of glitter. So right now I'm just checking the edges making sure it's all there. All right, so whenever we cure this, we're gonna go ahead and cure our silicone cup too so that we can um, clean that out. First, I'm gonna hit it with the torch to get any bubbles out. All right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this and then we'll go back to our decoupage. Okay, so while that's curing, we're gonna go back to our decoupage. Okay, so from here, we're gonna take our acrylic blank and we're just gonna tap off this extra glitter, okay? Um, with darker glitters, you normally only have to do one coat, but I like to just do two coats on every one um, just to make sure I have a really, really good coverage, okay? So I'm just taking the extra glitter off and we're gonna take our decoupage. This is the same brush and the same decoupage I had earlier. So this is where you're gonna see some of the glitter get on your brush and why you don't wanna go straight into your decoupage bottle, okay? And so we're gonna just take some decoupage, a little bit more than last time because it will wanna to try to soak in to your glitter and you're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna work from the center out softly brushing it because you don't want to brush any of your glitter off. So you shouldn't really hear it too much.
get a little more. All right, that looks great. So you notice we don't have any big globs anywhere. It's nice and smooth, fully covered. Um, just make sure whenever you're brushing on, you're doing it very softly, because if you do push too hard, you're gonna basically brush your glitter off. So you don't want that. You wanna put a good layer on top of your glitter layer. All right, same thing. We're just gonna coat this with glitter. And again, don't worry, all this extra glitter will be saved so you don't have to be um, super concerned about that. Just make sure you get your edges. And then we're gonna push all that down. Now the second coat, you do wanna let it sit for a little while longer because you wanna make sure that decoupage is fully dry. Um, before you put any sealer on it, okay? All right, so that looks beautiful. So we're gonna move that away. This is what my plate looks like that my decoupage was on. So I used all of that. And you see how um, some of the glitter is in there, that's what you don't want in your bottle. Okay, now we're gonna let that sit. I'm about to show y'all the cured one, but I wanna show you one more way to glitter your acrylics. This is transparent glitter adhesive vinyl, okay? So I already cut a circle out of it. So I'm just gonna weed that. Now, transparent glitter adhesive is super awesome, okay? So it is transparent, so you can see glitter on both sides. The gold one is gold on both sides. Most of them are silver on one side and brightly colored on the other. So for instance, like the pink one, it'll be really pink and glittery on this side. And then on this side, it'll be like a silvery pink, but you will be able to see glitter on both sides. Okay, so you can put this on the front of the acrylic or the back of the acrylic, total preference. All right, it's very easy. To cut it, you'll just use the file that comes with your acrylic blanks when you purchase at zindi.com. All right, and then to put your vinyl on, it's just like regular vinyl. We are going to put some transfer tape on this. All right, transfer tape, take our squeegee, burnish it really well. Roll that backing paper off so you can see how pretty that is. And then we're just gonna put this straight on our acrylic blank. And then roll this backing paper off. And there you go. So here's another option to glitter your acrylics. So you see how I covered the hole with the vinyl, I'm just gonna take this bead reamer and put it in this hole and twist it just to get that extra vinyl out. Perfect. All right, so let's take this backing paper off so you can see what it looks like. Finished. So here, is a circle glittered with transparent glitter adhesive. This is the back side. So this is the actual adhesive side of the vinyl you're seeing. And then this is the side I applied it to. Okay, so that's one very great option, especially if you are not a fan of glitter, but you need the look of it. This is a nice mess-free alternative. All right, here is our cured circle. All right. So we're gonna remove this, oop, remove this backing paper. So you can kind of see. So this is our cured circle with glitter. 
Now, if I want this to be a lot more opaque, I can do another layer on here, okay? And if you look at the resin, see how it has, how it's not super glassy, how it has that little texture to it? That's normal when you're mixing UV resin and glitter together. So if I don't want that, I can add another layer of resin. If I want more glitter, I can add another layer of glitter and resin. Um, it'll still have that texture, but if I add a third layer of resin, it won't have that, okay? So, so here's two options. So this is transparent glitter adhesive. This is mixed resin. All right, my dears, so he's let this sit for a good 25 minutes. So I'm gonna just take this acrylic blank and I'm just gonna kind of brush the extra off. All right, now this glitter can be saved. So we can seal the, this a variety of ways. We can use UV resin or we can use um, something like triple thick. I do actually really like triple thick if you don't wanna use resin or anything like that. It won't give you as glass of a finish or anything like that, but it still will be super smooth and nice, okay? But we're gonna use UV resin for this. So let me get my gloves. All right, and this again is Resin Rockers UV Resin. We're just gonna put a generous amount straight on our acrylic blank. All right, use our silicone brush and we're just gonna spread that out. All right, so I'm just turning that around. I like to kinda do it like brownies, you know, get any air bubbles out, make sure you get the edges. Um, you may notice a few more air bubbles as you're doing this because um, it likes to soak into the glitter, any open spaces, so you definitely want to give it time to rise to the top and be sure to use your torch okay so we're gonna go ahead and cure this don't worry if you get resin in the hole bead reamer will fix that very easy okay so that's done so here's the decoupage one so you can see how shiny that finishes and how thick the coverage is okay here is the adhesive vinyl one, the transparent glitter adhesive. And then this is the mixture of resin and glitter together, okay? So, just so y'all can see the difference. All right, so decoupage. Uh, UV resin and glitter mixture, transparent glitter adhesive vinyl. And like I said, this one, we could have a much glass, like much uh, better finish or a thicker coverage if we put a little more glitter in it or did a second coat. The lighter glitters usually will require a second coat when using this method. And then this is the decoupage. So you can see how shiny that is and how thick the coverage is. You can't see through it at all. So I hope that helps you guys to kind of give you an idea of the different methods and how each one works. So if you're not a fan of glitter, transparent glitter adhesive is an awesome option. Cause I mean, it looks like real glitter. You can't tell, especially if it's epoxy. This is also a quick and easy way to get some glitter, especially if you want a, um, a lighter coverage. And then if you really want some bright, vibrant glitter coverage, this is your best option. And like I said before, you can seal it with something like triple thick if you're doing this method. Um, it'll basically put a sealed coat on it, but it's not gonna be glass like this, okay? So I hope that helps give you some options on which way you can go with things. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer those. Bye.